today I'm just going to share how do we make chicken stock because store-bought stock is always full of salt, um, of course preservative, of course a lot of uh, MSG so we can avoid that, all we need is the chicken stock so here you have uh, maybe one cup of uh, celery you have the old celery which you don't want to cook anymore, keep it for your stock ginger, one, one and a half inch uh, size ginger sliced, chopped up big pieces one large onion, just roughly big chops, about five cloves of garlic, just beaten up, and a bowl of uh, chicken bone. You just need the bone, you can buy it from the market, the carcass, uh, just that. And I put in a bit of uh, uh, turmeric to take away the smell of the chicken, that's it. Now we're going to boil all of this together in low flame for about 40 minutes. And that will give us a nice yummy stock. In a heavy bottom pot, like this cast iron pot or any pot that you have, needs to be a heavy bottom pot so it doesn't get burnt. I like to put in just a tablespoon of oil because the chicken itself will lose some oil later. And then put in your chicken. Just keep saute. Some stocks, uh, if you see, they will put some carrots. I don't put carrots because then it will add a sweet flavor to the stock, which we don't want. Sometimes, you know, when you're cooking chicken rice or chicken soup for the matter, you know, then we can add the carrots separately if you want. So just saute it quickly. So why I do this is so that I take away the raw smell of the chicken. So when your stock is boiling, you get a smell that as if it's chicken soup. Okay. I also would like to say, for your stock, try not to add any salt or pepper or any extra ingredients other than the one we chopped. Because the ones we chopped are the basic taste and flavor. So you can always add your pepper, your salt when you're cooking with this chicken stock in your soups and other uh, rice. You know. So for now, just keep it simple. You can see this nicely, this slight browning effect. So at this time, put in your celery, your ginger, your garlic, and some onions. My son is saying some onions. Yeah. Okay. Nice taking a video. So what you do? This is the quick stir. Okay. Then add in two big cups of water. It depends if you want concentrated stock or you want it to be. Um, watery. I like it to be a bit concentrated so it adds more flavor. So one huge cup of, if you take the measuring cup that means it's two cups of uh, hot water, put it in and close it up, change it to low flame. Okay, you can see low flame and boil it for about 45 minutes. So once you boil your chicken stock, it will be like this. Okay, it's slightly tinged yellow because of the turmeric I put. So you can see, I made it a bit concentrated. But I can tell you, I can bet you, nothing beats your homemade chicken stock compared to your store-bought stocks. Yeah. So give it a try. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put them into this small it's a silicone holder for baby food portioning or you can put a huge ice tray cubes like this fill it up in every portion close it up freeze it whenever you need you take out one cube a big cube and you can use it okay so good luck trying thank you